Hey guys, it's me, Kisame Unlimited, and I'm showing off my alien deck, which is pretty much all peroxy that no it's not all peroxy that i mean i'm missing a couple of cards but i'm going to be showing clips of it on dev pro plus i'm hey, going you hey that time we do it and you say you drew exodia was that proxy exodia nobody wants you But Anthony, aren't aliens old, dead, outdated? Aliens are the meta. Aliens. <laughs> aliens are the meta. What do you do with this new alien deck in there to make it strong and make it, like, you know, com compatible? Well, to be honest, from what people don't underestimate is people expecting that most alien decks focused on what they were mainly used about, A-counters. Which was pretty much, in my opinion, alien counters are too inconsistent you can't count on them but i found a way to make aliens playable in the meta that's funny a count is not countable you can't count on the counters <laughs> so from the last time i dueled spidey i actually used my alien deck against him my alien deck is somewhat still in construction but i will get into it of what i use i will show also a picture of it on dev pro of what it looks like also while i'm reviewing it here so people understand what i'm talking to even though you don't see me now the main purpose of my build is that I focus mainly more on, probably more on Rescue Rabbit than anything else. Rescue Rabbit mainly for Gagagigo most of the time because I was always like, hey, I could pretty much play Gagagigo and then bring out Bahamut Shark, which is a great monster, and then go for 17. But then they made that Abyss Strike uh, rank like 3 that was like 2,800 defense points, which I play her too because she's a good defender. But then... All hell broke loose when they made King Gremlin or oh. King Desferalim. Because when you activate his effect, you pretty much detach one and then you search out a reptile, which is a great search for either Evil Dragon Anata or for an alien Ammonite. And the way I do it is I summon Rescue Rabbit, pitch it for either of those normal monsters, mainly Shock Trooper, play Shock Trooper, which is a 19 beat a swing for an attack, or play uh, King Desferalim. Which Detach is one, yeah. Bring out alien ammonites. Yeah. The which then I could either go for catastrophe for that new keeper monster that they're releasing, that new synchro that's like ancient cure golem that when it attacks it can't activate any effects or spell and trap card. That's a rank, uh, not rank, uh, level five synchro, which two thousand three hundred, which is not bad. And this cosmic fortress Galgar, which could pretty much just bounce back things that are face up continuous cards. At the same time, still being able to abuse stuff like Levier to bring it back and just, you know, bring back Rescue Rabbit and keep abusing that all over again. Now, what I always loved about Aliens more than anything else was their great, great trap card support, which nobody ever really was ever really introduced. Now, the best trap card Aliens I think that they have is a trap card called Alien Brain, which I play three of. Alien Brain, its effect is this. When... My opponent destroys one of my reptile monsters because they're weak. <laughs> when they destroy one of my reptile monsters, my opponent's monster then becomes my own monster. So I'm. That's not fair. I, a lot of people don't like that concept, but you see, that's another thing that I find interesting about aliens. Aliens are based off abductions, stealing things from its surroundings. And I like that concept where it's just like, I'm abducting, I'm taking your monster and using it as my own. And it also becomes a reptile, which they gave another great trap card, Offering to the Snake Deity, which is a great reptile supporting card, which is just like Icarus attack. And if you take your opponent's monster, turn it into a reptile, also use it with Offering to the Snake Deity, which is a great combo in my mind. Oh, man, that, now that, that sounds pretty hardcore. That sounds like, you know, that sounds like a lot. Now, please tell me that's it. That's all they can do. No, they can do a little bit more. Now, the one other good thing about Aliens is, you see, I play one personal tech of my own, based off the first Alien card I ever had, Alien Grey. I play two Alien Greys. You can also see it that in my deck profile over here. Now, the one good thing about Alien Grey that I pull off is that I set Alien Grey and I set an Alien Brain, either to steal my opponent's monster after they destroy it, Plus, I get a free card once Alien Grey is destroyed. Mm -hmm. So that's one good thing. But my favorite combo is to set Alien Grey, play Creature Swap, take my opponent's monster, swing into Alien Grey, and plus off my opponent's, you know, 
Alien Grey that I destroyed, and then I draw one card, plus I gain my opponent's monster. But then, there's always that one trump card that I use. My Evil Dragon Anata, which its effect is I could banish all the reptiles on my field and graveyard, and special summon it from my hand, and it gains 600 times the number of reptiles I banished. Kind of like that Chimera Tech Overlord. Dragon. Yeah. Now, I use it. Now, people use things like I top deck BLS. Well, I top deck Evil Dragon Anata. Nada. Thanks to stuff like King Gremlin, uh, aka King Desperate Olymp, I can always make sure that card always goes to my hand in the beginning of the game. So I always have that good option of special summoning it at the end of the game, or early on if you really need to pop something. But I play it mainly at the end to swing with 5400 or 3600 or 42 or whatever, because all King Gremlins and all those King Desperate Olymp, all those alien cards, they go to the graveyard, unless my opponent plays macro. And then I play that, and every end phase that card destroys one card on the field every end phase i don't even have to attack just pop 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 each end phase because this deck is very consistent it trims down the deck a lot and i think the best part about that deck personally going up against it is the fact that you have so many options yeah that's one thing i like because to be honest i actually got rid of my my meta dark world deck for this deck and to be honest the reason why i like it so much is because it takes people off guard it's so fun to play using a deck that's so outdated and then pushing it to the meta and actually seeing it knock meta on its ass from ass from time to time really kind of you know interests me i also like i also play stuff like valor and maxi which you see in the deck which I pretty much use to kind of counteract my opponent in some different situations. Uh, now you see, I don't really play most of the whole alien lineups like Alien Warrior Kid, because thanks to Shock Trooper being level 4 and abusing him with Alien Ammonite, it comes out and saves me in so many games. To be honest, if Trishiel was around, it would be so easy for me to go into Trishiel like No Tomorrow. <laughs> I think the fact that you found a way to make aliens fit in today's format with exceed monsters and yeah. the speed of today's game, and you found a way to blend that in with an old school deck, and that's probably why the deck thrives so well. Now you see, the only one thing that people underestimate, I mean, you see, ever since uh, King Dust for Olympus has been around, a lot of people I've seen are kind of using Shock Trooper and Gaga Giga, which I, I kind of want to say I did it first, which I did, because I was doing it before King Gremlin was around, but... The one difference with people using that card is they use it like this. They use it like, oh, because they play worms instead of aliens. Oh, worms are but you see, them. people think aliens suck. They mm -hmm. think aliens suck, so they, they don't think to use my thing. But you see, um, Ammonite is just like Blackwing North. It's pretty much just like Black Wings, but a different kind of playstyle, which yeah, I is. actually prefer aliens' playstyle over Black Wings, but they're so similar. Yeah, they really so. true. It's like my preference, but to be honest, if anybody wants to have a great alien deck and actually wants to give them a try, they have a lot of support. This is my build, so if people just want to see there are so what many different I mean, because you know people have different players' preference in different styles, so people could see my deck and just get the idea of what aliens could do and how good they are, and you know actually want to take aliens to the next level. And this being underground, this is quite the creative original deck. We've never seen any. Anything like this, so yeah, I'm, I'm like the only person that plays a competitive alien deck in the world. I declare this card in the name of Mars. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> Isn't that lovely? No, nobody wants you. <laughs> so. All right, so if anybody enjoyed seeing my deck profile and would like to see me do more dual videos and more deck profiles or more of my decks so people can see more of them like this video if this video gets about 50 to 60 likes i will do most likely another deck profile or another creative strategy you know like that i've come up with so if anybody wants to see more like this video and maybe you know we'll see spidey's master deck which is his best deck which i went up against yesterday which was pretty creative if i do say so myself i have so many other decks that are creative that i'm still i like working. your master deck the most though i'm trying to make them compare they're not competitive yet my other decks aren't competitive yet so once i get them competitive i'll be showing those on here too so you know hey underground get to see some deck profiles some pretty crazy decks